recording has started. Yay. All right, who wants to recap last week for us? Um, I can't even remember. Hold on. We, we did a lot of role play. I believe it involved... Oh, that's right. No, that's right. I remember now. It involved a lot of drinking. It, it involved finding um, my arch nemesis in his tent. Uh, it involved a lot of me trying to get Gar and um, Grimwolf to kill him, which didn't work out. Uh, it involved me rolling spectacularly well on my spell and not being able to use any of it. <laughs> and then at the end of it, we discovered that I'm getting trolled and sent to Alexandria to look for uh, the arch demon who has my soul on a piece of paper. And are about to head out for that town, Mongris, that we uh, are going to get paid to do a mission for. Yes. Yeah. All I heard was, right? me, 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 me. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. I mean, everybody else was there too, but I don't know. I don't know what you guys did. It was less important. I I, I got a book. Oh, that's uh, right. He did. Uh, he got a book. Uh, Fa Fables book. That's all right. Oh, Aesop, Aesop Fables. Fables. Yeah. See. That's all right. I pay attention to people other than myself. But I'm pretty sure the party doesn't know that someone has your soul. <laughs> no. No. That that part is <laughs> still a uh, still a mystery. And uh, Grimolf uh, won an arm wrestling contest with a wood golem. He did indeed. And won a silver. And then winked at Lily afterwards. <laughs> That's right. Great. Gar and Grimolf are going to be fighting over Lily. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, yes, the the arm wrestling contest is where we left off. Uh, it was late in the evening, and you were heading back to your to your inn, uh, and decided to take one more stop just to see if there was any kind of contest going on. Um, afterwards, you headed completed your trip back to the inn and slept for the evening quite uh I wouldn't say quite comfortably, but comfortably enough. We know Gar was more comfortable since he wasn't on a pee-ridden bed. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, Ernest, um, when you get back and you, you, your mattress smells a little funny. I'm going to uh, swap it for Gar's. As long as, uh... Oh, well, Gar's not... Uh, Gar's not here to say any different, so uh, I'm going to. Well, uh, Gar's. Not I'm in pretty the room. sure he would stronghold you to try to do a strength check against each other to try to swap that bed. <laughs> All right, little preface: when Gar's not there, I'm gonna swap him. I'm gonna be like, Gar, here's Gar, here's the silver. Go get yourself something to drink. Who, uh, speaking of speaking of Gar, who would like control of his character? T. I guess I shall. <laughs> Since I don't think he has anything secret from you, does he? He told you what was going on with his character sheet? No, not really. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to see it all now. Just don't read his bio. Yeah, I just, yeah, just, don't, just, read on it. just don't read his bio. That way you can you can roll for him during combat. <clears throat> ah. Are we fighting today? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> just in case. I have a rape whistle. Uh, you got this. <laughs> it's a police whistle. I don't know why you keep saying rape whistle. It's weird. It, it, under my equipment, it says rape whistle, by the way. Because oh, because Leo is very scared of that. Mm -hmm. He is That's he right. is a very feminine looking elf. <laughs> That's right. I'm a little dainty. What can I oh, say? Oh, God. That <laughs> makes me feel so comfortable as your sister. Anyway, <laughs> I literally did buy one for my sister when she went off to college. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. All right. So, uh, you you sleep the night uh, as comfortably as possible. Um, do we want to do the strength check to see if that uh, to see if that mattress is swapped? Oh no, there will be no. I'm gonna I'm gonna give um I'm gonna give Gar a silver piece and tell him to go get himself a drink, a, a good night drink. <laughs> And I'm gonna switch him back while he's downstairs. I'm not dumb. I can't beat guard a strength check. <laughs> well, 
Does, do you know it's Salted Tea, it's though? Been for you, then. You, you should make some type of, like, perception check to even oh. know that it's tea. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Who side are you on over there? <laughs> Justice. You, 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 probably, you probably should make a smell check. Fine. I'll make a smell check to see if I sense urine on my bed. Constitution, accuracy, communication, perception. Perception, smelling. Yeah. Oh, dang. Dang. That's, that's urine. That's totally urine. <laughs> it's five, all in there, in his nostrils, flaring out. He knows it's very pungent. Yeah, you lean in, you take a good whiff, and oh god, it's potent. <laughs> all right, well, since I got five stun points, I'm going to use the enrage. I'm going to twist the knife a little bit while, so while Gar's downstairs, he gets a little bit more tinkle on it. So I, <laughs> I knew what happened. How do you know what happened? That's true. Actually, that's true. I don't. Because I wouldn't think that Gar would have switched it. So I'm going to give him the silver. He's going to go downstairs. I'm going to switch beds. And then um, call it a night. All right. So, uh, so yeah, you guys you guys sleep semi-decently. Uh, Grimolf, maybe not so much because they didn't bother getting you a cot. They just stuck yeah, your ass uh, on the floor. floor. Yeah. I'm sure that he could get a cot. I'm sure he could ask for it now that he's sober. <laughs> I mean, does he want to ask for the cat now that he's, well, I mean, sober-ish? No, uh, Grimmel, see, he's slept in worse. Okay. So yeah, Grimmel's on the floor. He's he's your doorstop again. <laughs> he's a fantastic doorstop. <laughs> Takes hits like a champ. <laughs> Morning rolls around, and you head towards the uh, office of... Remy Duval to uh, find out where you're supposed to meet the caravans or the wagons or the merchants or whatever it is you're regarding again. I think we were guarding wagons as they were transporting supplies down to Longgrass. Yeah. yeah. This is the same area where the mystical woman is? Is that, yes. is that yes. correct? Okay. Yeah. These are two separate jobs, right? Uh, yes. One of them was for the... Because um, we never told anybody who actually released the undead thing, even though we found the dude. But right. We found that right. The, the mom or the wife was undergoing a type of sickness that we couldn't cure. So we're going to get cash money from being bodyguards, and then we're hopefully going to find a magic potion. Oh, yeah. Make sure. Okay. okay. So you uh you arrive at Remy's office, and he informs you that the <clears throat> uh, merchants will be leaving out of the Milan Gate, which is in the southwest of town. And informs you to head that way. Uh huh. Cool. We thank him and we go our way to the lawn. All right. Uh, are we going to be provided food or stuff, or do we have to purchase that on our own? Are you asking Remy? Yes. Do we need to provide to go purchase our own two uh, days, however many days worth of food, or is. He says, y you might want to, uh, just a little bit. Uh, usually the merchant will, will have something on hand for his guards, but not knowing how many guards they're going to get uh, tends to make it a little difficult to plan ahead. Alright. How, how long was the trip to Long Grace? Uh, it's, uh, it's about, about four, or four or five days. Okay. I already have a week's rations, so... Okay. Seven days rations. All right. Well, you head down to the Milan Gate, and you meet the merchant, uh, or you meet the uh, meet the wagons. Let me get a name for you. Where 
is that name? Um, what are you gonna do when you get to the gate? Is, it, is this uh, everyone? Is everyone ready? Uh, yeah. So as you as you walk up, a well dressed individual walks towards you. Um, notices that at least two of you seem like you can take care of yourselves. <laughs> That'd be the two warriors. Uh, gentleman walks up and uh, and says, Ah, finally! The rest of my guards are here. I am Philippe. Philippe? Philippe. Is he, can you describe him? Is he human? Uh, he is human, yes. He is kind of short. Uh, slightly balding. He has, like, the cul-de-sac going on. Oh, poor guy. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. At that point, you should just own it. Uh, he is, he's a little, little pudgy. Uh, clearly showing off that he has, you know, some money to spend. Uh, well, I guess we'll walk up and I'll give him a, a nice, hearty, hefty slap on the side and says, we're here to do work, and I'm going to climb up on top of one of the carts. <laughs> All right. There are four carts, I believe. Well, you can take a cart. Yeah? Well, there's five of you, technically. Well, Gark and Walk. There's also, uh, there's also a small handful of other guards um, around the carts as well. Well, I, I, I mean, I'm short and stubby, man. I ain't walking. That's <laughs> uh, okay, I can walk. I can walk. I'll climb up and sit next to Ernest. Gar is gonna walk. Alright. And Grimolf's in the uh, last uh, wagon. Okay. Rear guard. Okay. I guess as a mage, we'll probably, just for clarity's sake, we'll probably be sitting somewhere in the middle. Okay. Yeah. Alright, let me move you over to this map. Alright, so the road between Troyes and Langris um, is generally surrounded by farmland, although there are a few patches of forest here and there. Um... Your first day. First day goes by. Um, it's not a bad, bad job. It's it's just boring as hell, and the carts are slow. Uh, so you set up camp that night, um, taking watches. Yeah. Uh, are you asking? Because yeah. Yes, that was a question. Yes. Yes, we take watch. All right. Uh, let me see here. Let me open up something real quick. I, I'm sure you can relatively assume that if the question is, "Are you taking watches?" the answer will be yes. Uh, <laughs> it's who's on which watch. You never know. What kind of merchandise are in these wagons? It is. It is all foodstuffs. All foodstuffs. All foodstuffs. Okay. All right. So, who's gonna watch when? Uh, well, there's extra guards too, right? Yep. yep. So, uh, a mage and a warrior on one watch, a mage and a warrior on the other watch, and then uh, T gets her choice. Uh, okay. At least that's what makes the most sense to me. I'm fine with that. <laughs> More than likely, Gar will probably want to sit with me. Because <laughs> he has this fetish. 
Just saying. <laughs> All right. As you as you take your watches, okay, go ahead and make uh, stamina checks for each each of you. Where is that? It's oh, under constitution. It oh God! I fell asleep. Yep. So bad. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh, Peter. Totally fell, or Leo totally fell asleep. Uh, Lily was dozing off quite a bit, as was Gar. Uh, uh -oh. Ernest and Grimmel, uh made it through their entire watch, um, feeling really tired at the end. But luckily, nothing seems to happen. Other than the screech of owls and other night creatures. You break Man, camp. Man, that was a good night, Russ. <laughs> <laughs> Just all refreshed. <laughs> you break camp the next morning uh, and begin to head out once more towards Langris. Once again, the day goes by. Birds are chirping. People are out in the fields doing their things. And, and yep. I feel inspired. Yep, you're jotting down some notes. You're like, man, this is such fresh air. There isn't there isn't the bustle and hustle of city life. It's it's not bad. Country living, man. Pastoral literature. <laughs> Again, uh you find a place to set up camp. Um, you set up your watches uh, to correspond with the rest of the guards. Everybody roll another stamina check. Alright. Lily learned her lesson from the day before. I got second wind. I'm like, bam, I'm away. Uh, I'm slowly learning. Leo, Leo, uh, Leo still, still kind of dozes off a little bit uh, during his watch. Let's see. Uh, dozes off a little bit during his watch. Um, though, again, nothing happens at night. Just the normal... Normal night sounds. You hear you hear an owl off in the distance. Uh, somewhere in one of the wooded areas, you hear the howl of a wolf. Um, doesn't grow closer. Just just a nice relaxing night around a fire fire uh, uh campfire. And again, in the morning, you break camp and head out during the day. Which is also another pleasant, boring, nothing happens day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, at, at this point, after three days of like pleasant riding, I'm gonna start interviewing some of the guards, asking questions about who they are, jotting okay. down some notes. Okay. Know, get, getting a feel on the, uh, Can I like steal some of the inventory and start eating it? <laughs> Probably not a good idea. But 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 I have thievery. What is I mean, my what is welcome. yours is yours and what yours is mine. You're welcome to try though, but I mean Um I will like I guess during the day since I have nothing to do. I will take inventory of everything. Because okay. I have that ability again. Sure. I mean you, you, sure. you kinda rummage through everything and, and just kinda like make sure everything's still there and Right, so I can give it to the like whoever at the end of the town. Be like, this is how much rations you have, and whatnot. Blah blah blah. Can you, us, <laughs> can you make us pretty signs that sort of detail what's in each? Yes. Can I can I make a check for that? Is that a you, calligraphy you check? Can make a, you can make a <laughs> calligraphy <laughs> check for that. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I oh, own sure. that. It is. It is yeah. such a pretty sign. Oh. But at the same time, God. I'm eyeing oh. him to letting him know that I'm stealing stuff, so he's going to augment that. <laughs> no. No. I do not. 
It looks I'm like so the, out uh, of my writing. I'm just smiling the whole time looking at my creation. It looks like the chalk drawings you see in the grocery store when they try and be all like artsy and shit. <laughs> this is like hipster writing. Yeah. In my side. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna guys. give Leo a nice pat on the back. <laughs> okay. <of> work. <laughs> so, yep. The third day goes by, nothing happens. You guys, uh, you guys set up camp again. All right. Ooh. Roll, uh, roll your stamina checks for that night camp. Uh oh. I don't like the way she said that. You know. Oh god. Big money, no whammies. All right. What does green mean? Oh, god. Uh, green means you got a six in there somewhere. <laughs> god. Oh, Lily, no. Gar will wow. make up for it because I'm actually. We rolled so well. <laughs> We made up for it because Gar is with me when I do mine. <laughs> yep. All right, everybody but Lily makes it through their shift, and Lily Lily passes the fuck out. Uh, <laughs> so during during Lily and Gar's shift, yeah, I learned. It took me three <laughs> days to learn how to sleep. <laughs> Let me pull your little tokens out. So Leo is asleep in one of these tent. God damn it! Leo, grab your like grab your token and pull it out from under there for me, would you please? And put it over in this one. Hmm. Right, you're asleep there. Gar is standing near the fire. Lily is passed out near the fire. Probably up near this rock. <laughs> We're gonna dock that from your pay. I know. <laughs> Ernest, Ernest is in that. Ernest is in that tent. Uh, Grimolf is. God. I think you pulled the wrong token for me, because I can't click on the L that's by the stone. I think that's Leo. That that is Leo again. Yay! Because it wasn't pink. <laughs> Grimmel pulls it. Jesus, Grimmel, get in the fucking tent, man. Just get in the tent, man. Just get in the tent. <laughs> His feet stuck up, by, like, sticking out. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Grimmel is in that tent. Let's see, it's one, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah. is uh is sleeping, spooning his battle axe. Alrighty, <laughs> that, is, that is awesome. Uh, give me one second. Let me go check my other map to see if I have things. I do have things filled out on those. I'm going to copy these from the other map because I'm lazy. Uh, come on. That dude's sleeping over there. He's sleepy. He's, yeah, that's not their watch. Uh, one with their watch. Do what? Oh, nothing. nothing. Their watch was whenever they wanted it. <laughs> this car sucks. This guy's gonna sleep over there under that tree. So yeah, there was there was five more guards along with you. This guard's gonna sleep here. And this guard is going to sleep. Right there. Okay. Like none of them slept in a tent. Like a normal person. Nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> they're 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 strictly professional and making sure they're spread out and doing their Where's Philippe? Do what? Where's Philippe? <laughs> or Philip? Philippe. Philippe. Uh he is in this no, he's not in that tent, that's too far away. He's in this tent right here. Uh I can grab I can grab I think I can let me look for a noble. Or a there should be a couple in there for you. Yeah, I'm sure there is. You take the cat token. You see that. The cat <laughs> token? <laughs> no. Not not gonna grab the cat token. Okay, I gotta not do that. Let's just uh, 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 uh. 
Okay, why are we just looking at my library? Uh, pro sets. Nope. <laughs> that's that's really close. That'll work. He's, he's in that tent. Look at that mustache. <laughs> he's got the balding going on though. I feel I feel like I need to use that character token as an inspiration for, for another PC. <laughs> what an accurate token. <laughs> oh my God. Let me grab my mustache. Look at his mustache. <laughs> Mustachio. That's like impressive. I'm gonna ask him, like, what gel does he use? What is that? Earwax. Earwax. Alright, so who wants to control the guards? Um, uh, I'll do I it. Guess. Okay. I, can do I mean, it. every, I mean, who already, if you guys want to control a certain number of guards, because I think everybody has access to see the sheet under NPCs. Everybody, yeah, everybody has access to it to see it and control it. So if somebody wants to take, like, crossbow guard number one, two, whatever you want to do. I already have another character. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I'll do crossbow uh, guard number one. Okay. He's down there towards the back of the, back of the wagon train. I'll take one sword and one crossbow. Okay. And I guess I'll take whatever's left. Alright. Uh, and then just roll the respective weapon that they have on the sheet. They all have the same stats. So, uh, during Lily and Gar's watch, uh, Gar hears a commotion in the road, because you guys have pulled off it, um, and make a perception check for Gar. Big money in a whammy. Yeah. Oh, just the regular perception? Yeah. The vampire. Oh, God. Jesus. <laughs> uh, he hears a commotion in the road. He can't quite make out what it is. Um, but the individual moves closer, and eventually he hears it's somebody sobbing. And... Um, he nudges you, Lily, uh, because the sobbing sounds somewhat feminine, and the individual sobbing says, "Somebody help me, please!" Oh, what? Huh? <laughs> what? I know this is out of character, but this is totally a trap. Uh, killer. <laughs> First instinct is killer. What gar? What? I'm awake. I swear, I was please, awake. Please, please, somebody help me! They're after me! They're going to, they're going to kill me! Okay. Can I do inside um, check or something? <laughs> uh, sure, you can do an inside check. Absolutely. Uh, where does that fall under? <laughs> that is going to be an empathy check under perception. Empathy. Oh, under perception. Okay. Yep. God, I should not do any form of these types of checks. <laughs> Yep, this is the reason why. Yeah, no, you absolutely believe this person is being chased by somebody. Oh and, my god, what's wrong? I'm in here after you. I mean, it's a, it's a young woman. She looks like she's been scrunning through some brambles. She's got some scratches on her face. And she says... And she's she's can, like, I, can I hear this? Can I, can uh, I make you had, it Nobody woke you up. It? Nobody woke you up. Uh, you're, you're out. I mean... I think according to your role, you're really out. Oh, no, you're not. You're not too bad. Uh, <laughs> so she, she's, like, she's crying. She's got, like, snot running from her nose. And she says, I don't know, but they're after me. They're coming from back that way. And she points back uh, towards the northwest up in this general vicinity. Hey. <laughs> 
Uh, let's see here. What does Gar want to do? Can Gar do an insight? Gar can do an insight. Okay, I'm also having Gar do a empathy, empathy an check. empathy check. It's a little bit better. <laughs> Gar's like, Gar's like, oh, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> what not... do you mean, what a minute? She's so believable. Look at that. She's <laughs> not crying. It's so gross. <laughs> Gar, Gar scratches his head for a minute and says, uh, we're, we're guarding. We shouldn't go over there. But she's crying. Don't you feel bad for her? Not really. <laughs> she's not an elf. <laughs> he doesn't care. As he gives me a wink, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But if Lily wants That's to go, smooth. if Lily <laughs> wants to, you know, go and check it out, and maybe wake up a companion or two, she can do that. Gar is not going anywhere because Gar is like, I don't give a shit. Brother! Brother! And I throw a stick at him. <laughs> Make her throw, like, an accuracy check to see if that stick hit me. <laughs> I am. Oh, God. Okay, is there a throwing, right? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it a brawling. <laughs> God. Okay, fine. Isn't there an improvised weapon? Area? Uh, no. I guess it could just be an accuracy check, but brawling is pretty improvised. Boom! I hit you in the face, brother! Can I, can I try to dodge in my sleep? No, what's your, what's your, <laughs> like, like, what's your defense? <laughs> Did I wound you again? <laughs> my defense is 11. No, that hits you. Again, I just have robes. <laughs> that, that hits you. That totally hits you. You get, you get whacked in the shoulder with a stick. They're like, uh, what? What? Brother! Brother! What? Come here! Come here! Uh, I begrudgingly just get up. I'm like, what? She's, she's still coming a little closer. Bleep! Help me! I'm like, kill her. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what, what's going on? Who is she? I don't know, but she really needs some help. You see, she's not crying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she, let's help her. Let's help she, her. She, <laughs> I believe you. Let's do it. <laughs> And she says, I'm being chased! And she points again to the northwest. Please, please stop them! There's, I don't know, there's a handful, I'm not sure! A handful? I can't like, even have many. I'm like, I mean, you gotta help her. You gotta help her. <sighs> they're like, come on, let's wake up the rest of the guards that we care about. <laughs> then I, I wake up whoever was in here. Uh, Ernest. No, oh, yeah, up. no, Grimmel, sorry. No. Yeah, Grimwolf. Grimwolf is good. Oh, oh, fine. You wake up Grimwolf, I'll wake up Ernest. He was close. Ernest is down here. Okay. <laughs> I know, it's hard to see. Sorry, guys. Tap, tap, tap. Grimwolf! Grimwolf! I take my feather and just tickle his nose. Hey. <laughs> hey. Ernest. Ernest! <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to do the hand in the cup of warm water? <laughs> no. No. You're gonna try harder than that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I walked ale in front of his nose for Grimwolf. <laughs> Does Grimwolf come to? Uh, yes. Uh, and says, uh, you're waking me up this early. You better have an ale. Right here! <laughs> I had him an ale. <laughs> Alright. Well, Ernest is not waking up. I poke him with the other end of my feather. <laughs> The the pointy end of the of the of the quill. Yeah, you're like freaking egg. Just wake up, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna yelp a little bit and kind of like roll over and grumble. I'm gonna like get up and I'm like what like you know what the dwarven curse do you want? I'm like I don't know a rat scratch you, but get up. <laughs> Somebody else I need help. Rub my arm and you know shoot Leo a death stare. <laughs> Under my breath, I'm gonna mumble a dwarvish fucking elves. <laughs> Come off, someone needs help. Come luck, come help. Like this, not believable. You gotta meet this woman. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, how believable is this? Is this not? You said it's. Uh... Oh, she's gonna. She's gonna make another deception check for the rest of you guys. That's okay. It's uh, communication. No, for you guys, it's empathy to see if you believe her. 
Which is under where? Perception. Uh, perception. Oh, perception and empathy. <laughs> You're not face at all. Dang I'd be it. like, don't uh, you feel her? She, the she pain still, she's She's through? still crying. She's still she's still snot nosing it. He's like, please, they've been chasing me for <laughs> hours. I'm like, don't don't worry, don't worry, ma'am. We well, got this. Come and save you. Grimmel, 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 Ernest are like, Grimmel, Grimmel, and Ernest is like, I mean, maybe, but meh. Wait, we're gonna kind of give each other a look. We're gonna be like, fucking humans. <laughs> just slowly drinking my ale and just not really paying attention to her. I mean, she looks like she looks like she's been running, and she looks like she's been chased, and she looks like she's distraught. But so, you get a you get a sense of maybe. Yeah. Yeah, we were born that night, but we weren't born last night. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna invite her into camp, next to our two heavy hitters. Okay. Uh, and I'm going <laughs> to uh, I'm gonna have them uh, sit because Grimolf is in the in the know. He pretty, I think he knows something's up. So I'm gonna have her sit by the camp and tell us more about her attackers. But I'm gonna let everyone else know, like Lily, Leo, and the other guards in secret to to watch for. To watch for. Uh, you want to write there, don't you? Yeah. I'm gonna take out my book and just start recording what she says. Uh, she she explains that she's been she's been chased for several hours. Uh, they they chased her from her homestead. They broke in, uh, and that uh, she's been running through the woods trying to find help. And she finally finally came upon your camp, and it was like a godsend. And she's here, and you're here, and please please stop so them. A tear message. falls from my eye because I actually believe her. You're like, this is just like such a wonderful story. Sad, heartbroken. I'm gonna give Leo a, a rough push in the side. <laughs> what? what? I'm writing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask her what homestead she's from. And uh, she gives you the name of one second. <laughs> Gotta get the name. Where the hell is that list? Wish I was more organized today. While well, this is going down, Grimolf is just leaning on his battle axe, drinking his ale. <laughs> of course he is. We got those guards on alert, those crossbow guards taking up positions. Yeah, I'm kind of keep. Like, I'm gonna keep a lookout on like in the general direction that she was pointing at, like over here, because okay. I have I have a uh, dark vision, so I can see if anything approaches. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. Wait, did you give us um uh, ownership for the guards? Yes. Uh, I can't move them. Yeah, you can't I, move okay. the guards because I haven't given you ownerships of those yet. Hold on. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. But I can't see the character sheet. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't tie them to the character sheet because then they would have all died at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> she says sense. she says that uh, she comes from a small farming settlement um, further back off the road called Nareen. Can I roll a uh, some kind of intelligence check to see if that place actually exists? Uh, let's see here. Uh, let me find out what that is. I'm looking for like local history. I found natural lore, cultural lore maybe. Cartography. Uh, yeah, cartography is making and reading maps. Um. Navigation. Yeah, uh, navigation might make sense because I mean, if you knew where you're at and you knew the name of the place you were going, you would be able to create a route to it. So yeah. Well, I don't. I don't know where. I don't want to know where it is. I want to know if it exists and like what they. I'm, I'm trying to cross-reference our witness here to make sure that she's you know, not up to no good. Oh, then for that one, make a uh, then make a make an empathy check to see if she's telling the truth about where she's from. No, I I don't I don't want to know if she's telling the truth by seeing she's lying. I want to know if she's telling the truth by knowing if the place she's talking about exists. 
Then do cartography. Or just a straight intelligence. Which is a straight intelligence because you're not proficient in anyways. Which is a straight intelligence for me. Um. Yeah. You've, uh. You've heard. I mean, it's it's on a map somewhere, you're sure. Probably in this general vicinity. Alright, well, I, I suppose everything is seeming kosher to me so far. And uh, I guess I'll ask her, um. Or, uh, how long did you say that you've been running? Uh, maybe a couple hours now. I ask her, what are you doing out here? Trying to get away from the people chasing me. How far? How far away are they? Uh, she's not sure. How did they find you? Uh, she says that they raided. It seemed like they were raiding their small farming community. Oh, like oh, the town, her town where she's from. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. So her town's nearby. I see. Yeah, give or take. Yeah, give or take. Oh. If I look at her, does she does she look like someone who farms? <laughs> like, does she have farming clothes type? Yeah, thing? yeah. Oh. She's only just dressed to the part. Well, I believe her. Do I still believe her? I mean, do you still believe her? Probably. I roll pretty well. <laughs> Tears keep streaming down my eyes. I'm like this poor woman. <laughs> Such a hard life. Uh, My guys, you gotta help her. We should help this town, this local town, right? Uh, questionable. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure that uh, the town in itself was very sad to see it go, but I'm sure that by the time we everybody get there, make a perception check. Uh, here or does it matter? Leo, you think, you think you hear something you hear in the bushes, in the bushes to, the to the southeast. We're like, shh, guys, did you hear that? There's there's something coming in that direction and a point towards the southeast. Like, here. A point in that direction. That's so behind me. We're guessing to uh, it. Am I? <laughs> to the other side of me? There's something coming from that. Wait, no. No, this way. I'll find that way. Gar gets into like a battle I, stance just in case. I tell these, Gar didn't I hear tell shit. These, I, I know, them. but he's Leo's in indicating that there's something in that area and he's closest to that. I talked to this guy. Keep, keep your wits about you. To these two. So I'm going to ask. Uh... I'm gonna ask, as as everybody is kind of like getting prepared, we'll ask the the lady if these are friends of hers. She says, "I don't know what you're talking about." Uh huh. Can we uh can we roll a perception at that point? Uh, you're welcome to. Because uh, because <clears throat> if not, then Gar gets to um. Yeah, you're like either way, whatever. Maybe, maybe not. It's it's give or take there. I want to point to Gar and be like, I'm like, you know, you know what, you know what orcs do to liars? Have you heard about the last person that an orc, uh, that told a lie to an orc? Yes. No. 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 You didn't, and that's the point. I'm gonna at that point have you make a uh, intimidation check. Oh, am I intimidated? I don't it's know. under strength. Uh, I, I am. Can, since I'm still looking around and I hear something, can I can I try to look? Because I have dark vision. Can I try to see if I, if I see anything in that direction? Anyway, that could be a communication since I'm not. No, because you are trying much. to you are trying to intimidate this woman. But using you using are trying to keto. intimidate this woman. Why is that tied to strength? That's so silly. <laughs> you gotta puff up, man. 
I'm, I'm using, <laughs> I'm using seeing the strength. fact that he mentioned the orc race and the fact that he's very loyal, he actually does respond saying, I don't appreciate lying. <laughs> uh, I had to look at his background really quick because loyalty is one of his things. And as, uh, as, as all this is going down, there are several individuals coming out of the trees. Can I intimidate the girl with the gar? Uh, no, you can roll a, you can roll a, uh, per, per, uh, uh, that thing that we do to do stuff. Initiative. Initiative. <laughs> like, initiative? <laughs> yes! Oh my god. Okay, so, how do we do initiative guys. again? Uh, click on your character token, and then click the initiative roll under... Dexterity. Dexterity, thank you. Oh, there it is, okay. Yeah. Alright, there. That is that one. <laughs> I rolled the same number for both me and <laughs> Alrighty, that's awesome. And... Everything is awesome! My brain is not functioning. Uh, I apologize. Bandit number two has blood across her eyes. We should kill her first. Did I already do five? I did already do five. Alright, let's see. Let's do that one. Bandit leaped. <clears throat> Um, blah, 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 blah. That one. Mm. Boom. Did we get seven? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's seven. seven. Dang, two of them rolled really high. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and show that name, please. I don't fucking lose it. And then the guards are gonna. I'm just gonna roll for crossbow guard number one. You're all gonna go at the same time as crossbow guard number one. And I'll I'll move your character where you would like me to move the characters. Uh, and descending. Oh, of course. Oh, oh, really low for us. Quite wow. <laughs> I mean, why would I roll really, really high for you guys? I mean, seriously, that's just crazy talk. Yeah. Okay. So bandit number one is going to go first. Bandit number one is this one, I believe. Speed of 11. Why is that feet? Why are you feet? Why, why are you feet? I don't like that. There we go. He's gonna move over here. And take a swing at Grimolf. Uh, figuring out that their ploy is clearly not going to work. That is a 21 to hit Grimolf. Jesus. I don't think so. <laughs> and that's six stunt points. So that's um, 11 damage less four is seven. And I didn't write oh, down God. what their favorite stunts are. One second, guys. Sorry. Today is like that? I'm pretty sure I'll die. Today is not a good day for me. Uh, their favorite stunts are skirmish and knock prone. And, uh, let me just pull up the stunts so I can see what they can do. 
gameplay information, stunt information, combat stunts. Pop that out. He has six stunt points. He is going to lightning attack. So he's going to whack at you again with his longsword. It's an 18 to hit. 18 hits. 8 damage, less your armor. Okay. That brings us to Bandit 6. Who is going to move there next to Gar. Book. And that is one of these. And he is going to stab at Gar with his dagger. 13 to hit. What am I supposed to be looking at? You're looking at his defense, which is 11. So mm -hmm. it does hit. Uh, 4 damage, but he has a 4 armor class, so he takes no damage. Okay. Uh, and no stun points. Uh, Leo. I, I kind of baffle. I'm like, I believed you. I can't <laughs> believe I believed you. Um... So do I do I see this guy? Do and I see she, this girl? And she looks directly at you and says, It's a sucker born every day. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, she did not just say that to me. I just like I point my quill at her and you're like, you need to die. <laughs> <laughs> Take money no way we Yeah. Hold on. I will Why would I ever do like shadow daggers? Arcane blast is so much. I don't even know. Um, I I'll, I'll just do an arcane blast at her. Okay. Die. Damn, fourteen minutes. Do, do I have stun? No, I have no stun. I'm sorry, to die. Your arcane blast is produced from the tip of your quill. And it fires right at her and catches her solid in the shoulder. Dang, I'm shooting for her head. And then I kick the guy right here. You're like, wake up. You got trouble. You kick the merchant? Yeah, because he needs to wake up. <laughs> Be aware of the situation, man. <laughs> you, um, you kick him and he pulls his foot back and you realize he's been awake and he's cowering in his tent. Ugh, fine. I just step in front of his tent then. And he says... This is what I pay you for! You better pay extra! <laughs> this is your Ex job! Extra for a living. I can't promise if an extra dagger will hit you or not. I can't pay you if I'm dead! <laughs> oh, you won't be dead. Just missing a, a digit or something. <laughs> Lily. A digit. <laughs> what would is that a persuasion? Lily, what would Lily like to do? <laughs> no, 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 no. What am I telling? I will... I heard what she said to my brother. I'm like, hey! You freaking... Nah. <laughs> you can say it. <laughs> no, I can't because I don't swear. <laughs> oh. Uh, well, I mean, we can fix that. <laughs> No, it's all good. I am going to smack her with my freaking morning star. Okay. Dang it. <laughs> Hold on. I looked at the wrong one. A 12 does hit. Yes, and I smashed it in the back of her head. <laughs> well, you smash it in the back of her back. Because... Fine. <laughs> she's still standing. Look, you get to go again as Gar. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, I probably should have moved over. For oh no, just kidding. Okay. Um, that's a lot of life. <laughs> but seeing the fact that she's kind of taken care of, Gara's gonna aim for Bandit number six. The one that hit him in the back. Yes. 
that stabbed him. Or attempted him. to. <laughs> the one that the one that jabbed at him with his with his weak ass dagger. Yeah, pretty much. And does he have talent? All right, so he's going to use his two-handed maul. Okay. Yeah. Right? Do I want to do that? Yes. Yeah, I'll do that one. <laughs> oh man! He turns really, really quickly and takes a swing at the at the bandit behind him. A bandit sees it coming because. He was waiting for Gar to turn around pissed off, and he ducks out of the way. You do have four stunt points. And there are stunts you can use that don't involve you actually hinting, or hitting somebody. True. Oh. <clears throat> uh, which one is that? The combat stunt? Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can use three stunt points to make another attack against it. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, you don't actually <laughs> have to hit for that one to take effect. Okay, so do I just attack again? Yep, make an attack roll. With the same weapon? Yep. Okay. Big money. Yeah. Much oh, better. Shit. No whammies. Oh my god. So <laughs> he, he, the the bandit ducks and Gar swings around like it's a baseball bat, then quickly shifts back the other direction as the bandit is standing back up. And like just lays into him, like crushing his rib cage. And you hear you hear a really painful gurgling grunty sound from the bandit. He's still standing, but he's not looking so hot. <laughs> Grimolf. Okay, um Grimolf was very calmly drinking his ale when he was attacked, so I imagine that was spilled uh, to the ground, and that is just going to throw him in an unholy rage, and is going to pick up his battle axe and say, "All right, Vera, let's go dancing." <laughs> Episode in number trouble. four. What did that ale ever do to you? <laughs> oh, dang! You don't mess with his ale. <laughs> Lord. 20, 21 does hit, and it does Five, some damage. Point. So, I am not, going oh, Jesus. to make oh, that gonna... a lethal blow. Holy cow. A lethal, okay, so you do an extra 2d6 damage. <clears throat> Big money. So it's taking all this seven. damage, 7. Yeah, alright, alright, no whammies. Uh, so yeah, you, uh, you ready your your battle axe, and uh, you bring it right down on him. Uh, he shifts back a little bit, and you open up, like, the skin on his chest. He's Ow. not hes not looking happy. He's not looking happy at all. Uh, bandit, this is where we die. This bandit is going to ignore that crossbowman. And go stand in this log. And that's that one. I'm gonna stab a dagger at Leo. Twelve to hit. It hits. Nine damage. <laughs> that was the saddest. <laughs> Nine yeah. damage. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> that hits. Yeah, and I got three stun points. Uh oh. Uh, <clears throat> it is, she's not going to lightning and she's going to threaten you. Hmm. Uh, she, she strikes a threatening pose, challenging Leo, <laughs> uh, as their opponent. And let's see here, you must make an opposed test of your strength intimidation versus the target's will self-discipline. So she's going to intimidate versus your self-discipline. Self 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 
So I item it? No, self discipline. No, she you do self discipline. Oh, okay. Yeah, the fact that you're bleeding is a pretty strong indication of. Yeah, I'm like, like <laughs> I can't hear okay. her because all I see is like red in my eyes. I'm like, oh my uh, god, there's so much blood. Had she won, you would have had to have attacked her. Oh, I see. But she didn't. And let's see here. No attribute for man. I have to fix that. I have to make a note to fix that on the sheet. Is that the one you were having with trouble with last time, Chris? Because I forgot. Which one was it? It's Intimidate. I don't think it was Intimidate, but it was one roll you had me do that it wasn't working right. Okay, I'll have to check the Intimidate code. Let me make sure that that added everything it's supposed to add in because they are proficient with it. It didn't. It didn't add a proficiency. It's only a plus two, so it really doesn't matter. You didn't get an error on it, did you, Leo, when you rolled it? No. It didn't say no attribute found for? No. Mm. I'm, pretty good, I'm pretty good at willpower, though. Oh, that's right. You you did willpower. Never mind. Yeah. So it's intimidation. You want me to try to do intimidation? Yeah, do, try, try an intimidation just for giggles. See if you get that error. Yeah, I got a no attribute was found. Okay, I have to fix that then. Okay. Uh, that was Bannet number three's turn now. Which is the one being surrounded by everybody. Uh, Bandit number three is going to turn towards Lily. What? Yeah, can turn towards Lily. Oh, as the girl. Yep. Let me double check something here. It's that one. All right. It is this one. She's gonna turn towards Lily. And make a uh, produce a dagger from like nowhere. Take a stab at you. Twelve to hit. My defense is twelve. So yeah, that just hits. hits. Yep. Uh, nine damage minus your armor. Your armor is four, so five damage. And as she hits you, she says, "Never trust a stranger in the woods, dear." Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stab her in the skull. <laughs> and it's seven. Is pretty far away. <clears throat> And yet, they can still get way the fuck up there. Yep, they're gonna go... And hit Grimolf! So that's 115, that's a 15 bandit, yep. They're gonna hit Grimolf with their longsword. No, they're not. No, they are not. They're not gonna hit Grimolf at all. Bandit number five is gonna go after that crossbowman. Just just because. So that was with a long sword. Ten does not hit him. Bandit number four is also gonna go after that crossbowman. Actually gonna go after that crossbowman. It's closer. That does hit. Ow. Four. Hey. It's painful. Ernest. Uh, I'm gonna grumble to myself both about humans and elves. <laughs> about how one of them has no common sense and the other one are inhospitable nincompoops. And I'm going Which to am cast I? Which am I? <laughs> up its, up, boat. You're, are you a half elf? Oh uh, no. Uh, I'm going to cast puppets of fate. Oh shit. Uh, you go to cast your spell, and as you complete the spellcasting ritual, you realize that you were not able to harness enough mana, and the spell fizzles out. Does that still cost mana to cast? Yes, it does. It still rough. it still uses spell points. That's rough. Yes, it is. That that makes up for the fact that um, you don't have to roll to hit armor class. So, 
Did, then we did we decide that uh, Leo's Shadow Dagger doesn't have to roll to hit armor class? Correct. He has to he has to be able to cast a spell, but he doesn't have to roll to hit. He just has to roll damage at that point. Okay. So every spell is essentially like magic missile, except for you have to reach that target number to cast it. Of course, the one time that I need this spell to work. <laughs> All right. Well. Uh... That's that's it, man. That's that's it. Oh, you uh, got yeah, that's my that's my turn. Yep. yep. Uh, g guards. The guards are gonna go. <clears throat> uh, we'll just go with uh, Dan. You first. Who's which guards were you controlling? Um. Whatever I... was remainder of the two. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I sword and a uh, crossbow guard. All right. How about you take uh sword guard number two? Who's way the hell oh, up here? Ready. And I can take crossbow guard. Where do you, you want to move him? Uh, he's got 11 feet. All right. I think. Just, uh, he's just, gonna go right your, behind. just use your arrow at a point where you want to. I'll, I'll drag him there. Yeah, right behind bandit number one. All right. And there's no flanking in this? No. Oh, that's a bummer. All right. Yeah, guard. the hitting is easy because, I mean, the def defense is pretty, pretty low. Long sword. That hits. So the guard comes up behind and, and takes his long sword and swings down at him, uh, catching him on the shoulder. Uh, and then you had a crossbow guard too, yes? We'll say you uh, had yeah. cross, crossbow guard three. Yeah. <clears throat> Who is he going to shoot? Uh... <clears throat> Do, 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 do. Uh, does he have a clear shot to Bandit 3? Mm. No, the tent's in the way. And I think Bandit 7's in the way. Yeah. Uh, and I think the tent's in the way first. Alright, well, he's going to shoot at the only one he's really got a real clear sight in, which is Bandit 7. Alright. Did I exit out of that character sheet? <laughs> Hold on, let me pop this character sheet up so that I have it. Yeah, pop it out so it's not in the... Alright, uh, crossbow, crossbow, crossbow. Boop. <clears throat> that definitely hits. Ooh, I got six... Oh, no, it's not step points. It's too odd. And I didn't get any step points that one. So, yep. No, you didn't. Alright, so yeah, you're uh, the crossbow bolt from that guard... Uh, thunks into the back of that bandit's shoulder, uh, sinking pretty deep. Uh, Chris, what guards did you have? I had crossbow guard number one. Uh, who is currently looking at bandit number four and is not in good shape. That's right. Uh, there is no uh, attack of opportunity in this, right? Correct. So can he kind of run around and get the high ground? And then shoot down on the bandit? Uh, sure, he's going to... Oh, God, what am I doing? All right. And crossbow. 13 does hit. Did you have any other guards? No, that was the only one. Uh, who has crossbow guard number two? I'll do it. Um, All right. Uh, he is currently at melee with Bandit Five. Bandit Five. Can he shoot a crossbow that close? He can't, eh? Or no? Uh, range on a crossbow should be on the sheet. Uh, um, I mean, I think he can shoot a crossbow that close. There wasn't anything about point blank. Okay. Then I do that. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That hits. I was gonna say how it would miss that close. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you you point the crossbow like right at him, point blank, and fire right into his chest. Pew. Cool. And then we have sword guard number one still left. Uh, I'll take care of that guy. And then uh, he's gonna move in front next to Leo. Next to Leo. Uh, like yeah, like right, like right there. There and attack bandit number two. Okay. 
Um, what's the long sword? Long sword? Yeah. Nope. Uh, unfortunately, misses. He gets up on that log and kind of stumbles a little bit and does not swing that sword all that great. P.S. You have four combat stunts. Oh, and then and then. <laughs> oh shoot! This is a combat stunt. Okay. You can lightning attack and take another another attack at him. Yeah, I'll do that. Rapid reload. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I'll try another attack. Yes, that will that will hit. Oh, the damage. <laughs> that will that will hit and do no damage. The uh, bandit just kind of like deflects the uh, deflects the attack on their armor. Let me look at something real quick. Crossbow folks will not go next round. They will be loading. <clears throat> Bandit one, where are you at? There you are. Wait, there. Up, up above G Grimulf. Uh, Bandit one is going to take a swing at Gim Grimulf. Again. Alright, uh, with his longsword. 21 to hit. Yeah, hits. And no stunt points. Damn you! Bandit six is going to take another swing at Gar with his pathetic little dagger. Eighteen to hit. And again, no damage. Shitty dagger. Leo. Leo's still pretty mad at that girl. Oh, he's in the way. <laughs> Who's in the way? The guard. I can't. I can't shoot anything, huh? I, you can move through uh, from the characters, can't you? You just can't stay in their same square. Correct. Yeah. <clears throat> you can get it. This is where Leo gets up close and personal. Yep. And then I'm <laughs> like, I'm gonna point right at her forehead and do another bolt at her. Like die <laughs> with five damage. <laughs> Eighteen does hit. Five stun points. With five stun points, and then I'm gonna say, if spell does damage, one target of the spell takes an extra two d six damage. I'll turn it all targets the spell to them. Yeah, okay. so I'll roll another two d six. Big money. Moderate money. Check that real quick. One second. Uh, let's see here. Stunts, 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 stunts. 36. Pretty sure you can do that. Uh, just to be on the safe side. There is nothing that says lethal blow cannot be used to enhance a spell. Okay. Well, they're from the under the uh, spell stunts. It's, it's called lethal spell. Oh, yeah. lethal spell. Aha. Okay. Yeah, then. That's good. So, four more points of damage. Alright, she's still standing. She's not looking healthy. She's not looking happy. And she just kind of glares at Leo. Lily! Don't stare, glare at my brother. I want to kill you now. And Morningstar face. I'll have to do the roll all ones. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you you do not you do not Morningstar her face. Um. There's no stunts, right? No. Okay. You uh you bring the Morningstar down uh towards her <laughs> and I mean because you told her exactly what you were going to do. Obviously. <laughs> uh, she just moves out of the way and and gives you a little grin. Gar. Gar's gonna continue hitting the guy that he was attacking already with the same bandit weapon. Yes, bandit six. 
13. 13 does hit. Uh, oh man, why can't you have done one more point of damage? He's, he's barely standing. He's looking a little wobbly. Like he's about ready to fall down. Mm, off. Grimmel. There you go. Um, yeah, uh, I am still in a fury. <laughs> and I'm ale. just chopping away. Yes, yes, you are. You are just chopping away. Good lord. Very little damage, though. No damage. Because of his armor. <laughs> But no, no. man, man, you you can wail on him and just you just tapped him real lightly. <laughs> Brings us to Bandit Two, uh, who is now going to take a swing at that sword guard because they got all up in their way uh, with their dagger. Oh, why did I just give these guys daggers? Seriously, fifteen to hit the sword guard, which I believe does. Yes for some damage. Alright, any stun points? Nope! Bandit 3 is surrounded. Not we looking... We lost somebody. Oh, we did. We lost Peter. Peter? Where did Peter go? You could probably continue. I'll, uh... I'll take Peter? Uh, there he is. Why did Peter run away? Because he was uh, so enraged with the girl. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, and the girl was actually going to take a swing at Peter. Because Peter stepped up there. Peter stepped up to bat. Ooh, you got a girl yeah. mad. It's, uh, 14 against against Leo. Yeah. For five, <laughs> for five damage. Bandit 7 is going to attack Gimmel Grimmel. That's a regular bandit. With their long sword. 13 to hit. 13 hits. 12 damage. And 3 stunt points. Ugh. 3 stunt points. Uh... <laughs> They're gonna lightning strike it. Try and hit you one more time. Because you're looking a little rough. 21 to hit. 21 hits. Damn, and I would have had six more stun points, except for that one can't do any additional stun points. Oh, what a shame. Oh, man. Such a shame. Bandit 5. Uh, Bandit 5 is gonna take another swing at that crossbowman, because, I mean, seriously, he's just sitting there trying to load it up crossbow. Uh, and Bandit 5 is a normal one, so he's got his longsword out. 17 does hit that, that, that guy. No stun points, though. Bandit 4. That crossbowman ran away. Uh, so Bennett 4 is going to move into the fray behind Ernest and take a swing at him. Because he can. That's a regular Bennett with his long sword. 15 to hit Ernest. Yep. For 9. 9 damage. 9 damage. Which, which is now your turn. Alrighty. Uh... I'm gonna give um, the band that just hit me uh, a bit of an angry stare, as I'm going to, I guess, against my own real self self preservation, move my way over to Grimolf, and I'm going to cast Healing Touch at three MP. That's oh, I forgot to change the uh, how much do I have it at two D six. I need one more d6, and did I roll? The uh, roll for TN is my stunt roll, right? 
Uh, yes. Five stun points. So I need to do another B6. Oh, uh, that is, at the moment, 19 health coming back to you, Grimolf. Damn. And since I have five stunt points... How is that 19? Isn't it 13? Uh, it's 13, but the 13 there is 2d6. I spent three... Um, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, so you I spent see. three, which means you only add one more d6. No, it's MP cost is one to three. Yeah, one to three for each d6. Right, for each d6, I spent three. The amount healed there is rolling 2d6, which means I needed to add another d6 for the three um, MP that I just found. Right? Right. So, and, yeah, and you that, get and, seven and then you plus six. What's seven plus six? So oh, you have to sorry. roll, roll one more d6, right? Sorry. No, no, no. I looked at spell power instead of the amount healed. Uh, so that's 13 hit points coming back at you. And uh, so lethal spell doesn't carry over to healing, right? No. I have five. Um. You can use skillful casting, so it didn't cost you anything to cast that. Uh, it'll cost me two to cast it, and then I guess I can't use that multiple times. All right. Um, yeah, I guess I'll... Uh... It doesn't say you can't. I'll, I'll use... Oh, well then, I'll use Skillful... If I can double up on Skillful Casting, um, I'll double up on Skillful Casting. <clears throat> okay. So it only so costs you one, one. one spell point. And that'll be my turn. Okay. Uh, guards are going to go, but only the sword guards are going this time. Why not the crossbow guards? Because they're loading. It's a major action to load a crossbow. Oh, that's true. That is true. Uh, sword guard number two is going to take a whack at bandit one. That's what he wants uh, to do. Okay. 17. He does. He hits him ever so lightly. And sword guard one is going to hit the man in front of him. Nope. Which... Okay. Yeah, no. That does not hit. Like, uh... useless! <laughs> yeah, crossbows were loading. Banded one is going to take another... Another stow. You know what? Bandit one does not like the fact that you healed Grimolf. So he is going to whack at you, uh... Ernest? Uh, where is my sheet? There is my sheet with his long sword. Oof. Six. For ten damage. Bandit six. Uh, Bandit six is looking a little, a little effed up. Uh, so <laughs> Bandit six is going to take one more stab. Just one more stab at Gar uh, with his crap ass dagger. And actually do some damage this time. It's not too bad on him. <clears throat> no, it's not. But, uh, regardless of the fact that he now sees blood on his dagger, he's. He... One, two, three, four, five, six. He's going to move off the map. He can't move off the map because I can't physically do that. But they're going to be down there and doing stuff. Uh, so he's out of combat. Leo! Leo's so angry at this, this woman in front of him. He wants her to die. And then... 
18 to hit. That does. And she drops to the ground like a sack of potatoes. I'm like huffing and puffing all bloody, like, take that, and then I run. <laughs> um, let's see. And you run, you run so far away. I, I run pretty far. I run like, <laughs> like right there. Got it. You're right here. Uh, go a little more. I can, I can afford There's you. the title of the show, and he ran. He ran <laughs> so far away. <laughs> You're like, I got you from back here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, guys. <laughs> oh, Lily. Mm, let's see here. Happy that the crazy girl is dead. Uh, I am going to go over here and go and try to hit the sword guard. No, yeah, that the bandit one. Okay. With the morning star. Okay. Okay, then hit him. Hit him with the morning star. I am. Um... Yeah, that hits him. Five stun points. Oh, I did. Sure did. <laughs> and I'm. What is it? Lightning? Whatever. Yeah, whack him again. Lightning attack. Yeah. You yeah, gotta whack. Like oh. Wait. What can I? Do? Lightning attack is three. You can do that. Okay, let me see. Or you can do a lethal blow, I guess. Or yeah, you could. Yeah, you got five stun points. You can just add two two d six to that. That's probably. Yeah, I'll just do that. Yeah. I'll just do two d six. Yeah. Okay. Slash R two d. Lily, Lily, she's our gal. If she can't eviscerate him, hopefully Grimov can. And I got off the spectrum. Right. <laughs> so uh so yeah, your uh your morning star uh you're not sure what happened, but for some odd reason you come down with such force. Um you strike him in the shoulder and you hear a crunching sound and you see his shoulder bend unnaturally. Um and he stops for a moment and looks at you and goes very pale. He's not bleeding externally. You don't see, like, profuse puddles of blood under his body. But he goes deathly pale, like he is bleeding out in some way, shape, or form. And then he drops at your feet. Don't under underestimate a girl. <laughs> You just hear a shout, Go, sister! <laughs> Thanks, brother. <laughs> Gar. From far distance. Uh, let's see here. Uh, there's still a lot of healthy bandits. <laughs> I am going... Gar is going to... move over and hit bandit seven. Okay. With his two-handed maul. Okay. Bandit one just died, so let's take him out of the, out the loop. Eleven? Eleven does hit. For twelve damage. Yeah. Uh, his maul... Um, like, you baseball swing right at her head. Uh, and there is... Just a pulpy pulpy mess of her face when he finishes the swing and looks at her. No, it's more like he baseball swings and her face falls into the fire pit. No, right there. I mean... Yeah, <laughs> no. Physics, I mean... That's difficult. <laughs> it's, it's a mall. It's not an axe. Oh, that's true. Grimmel. Okay. Um... Did you this... don't. You can't recognize her, though. So I mean, 
did this guy here die, or did he attempt to run away? He's running. You know, he's he's off the map. He's gone. He's okay. ran away. All right. So. But that's... I I mean okay here let me let me fix that. Now he's off the map. Okay. <laughs> uh, you killed him. So, uh, Grimolf uh, is going to stop his mad swinging for a second, and stare in surprise at the sheer power of Lily. <laughs> <laughs> And then is going to yell again. Uh, can I get that far? Yes, I can. And leap over the fire, push Gar out of the way, and run around to right here and chop at that bandit. All right. Seventeen. That does hit. Okay. Yeah, he's not looking happy either. All right, Bandit 2. So, let's see what's going to happen here. This guy is no longer needed. Bandit 2 has got full health, but... No. Nah. How far? She's running. She's gonna move. She's gonna run her full movement off the map. Oh wow! She literally ran the other way. Wow. Yeah, no. Uh, and then Bandit Three is dead, so I can get rid of that one on the thing. Bandit Seven is dead. Get rid of that one on the thing. Bandit Five is, I believe, a standard bandit. Yep. What is his movement? 22. Gone. 22? Gone. <laughs> Full run. Number. Full run. Normal speed, if you want to take an action afterwards, is 11. You can do a charge of 5 and then put a plus 2 on your attack. And then there's the full I'm getting the fuck out of here run of 22. Bandit 4. Also standard bandit. Also getting the... F out of there. They're, they're gone. They took off. They're like, fuck this shit. Dropped their weapons and took off. Oh, hi, Leo. I didn't see you up all the way over there. Because he ran. No problem. He ran so far <laughs> away. <laughs> Elves. Is, is it all God? No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna lock <laughs> He yeah. did kill somebody. Just saying. <laughs> it's true. So yeah, what would I, you guys like to do? I, I come back and I go to 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 the merchant. Are, are you doing okay in, in there? Uh, y yes. Are are they gone? <laughs> yep. At that point, he comes out. Walks up to Bandit 3, which is the one that was conniving you guys. Looks down at her. Spits on her. Kicks her. And says, Dirty Riff Raff. I'm like, whoa. Wait, do you recognize her? Peasants. Uh, falling back. We shouldn't can disrespect the, the dad like that, but... Um, I, I assure you, Elf, the dead, the, the dead have a whole bunch of disrespect coming their way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start yeah. poking through the, um... Uh, the, 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 fan, the big guard over here who was doing work against Grimolf. Alright, make a, uh, make a perception check. He's looting the bodies. And so will I. Both of you make a perception check. Uh, uh. Just a straight up perception. Boo -boo. Can, I, can I go look at the girl who did all the acting? Yeah. What do you want to look at? I don't know. What does she have? Okay, so Ernest doesn't find anything. I mean, he's like 
doesn't have a clue what he's looking for. I'm just, yeah, I'm just going through pockets. Yep. That, was, that was almost trip ones, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. That would have been an epic fail. Uh, Lily and Leo, uh, you look look through the bodies, uh, look through the, the clothing and the pouches of the individuals, other individuals, and you don't find anything either. And as you're looking, uh, you notice that the clothing that these individuals are wearing are very loose, um, and they're they're very emaciated, or you know, getting to the point of being emaciated. They're they're not looking too healthy to begin with. Um, their hands are severely calloused. Uh, they don't look like they had a whole lot to begin with. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna take notes. I'm just gonna take notes. Right, right, jot some things down, kind of just jot notes about their appearance. Save notes for later. They look like peasants. They look like working class farmers. It's not for any... I, I don't expect to be... Well, I expect to be ambushed again sometime in this campaign. But, uh... We... You know, he's making notes for stories, making sure he gets all the gritty details down. Okay. Would anybody else like to do anything else? Uh, Grimolf is going to desperately look around for another source of alcohol. Does he not have a flask or something on him? He does not. Oh, epic fail, man. It's alright. It's alright. Ernest has a flask. And uh, since he's got a third of his health left, he's going to take a swig from it. But because Grimolf and Gar pretty much decimated... Well, and Lily. Lily gets a swig if she wants it. <laughs> I need second win. Why not? I'll take yeah. one. <laughs> he's going to go up to her and give her a hefty pat on the shoulder and give her uh, the flask to take a swig from. Leo gets nothing because he ran away. I, I killed someone, though. <laughs> He killed um, the girl. As you did all of this. <laughs> as you are celebrating, uh, the merchant who uh, spit on and kicked the bandit three, the the woman who is conniving you, uh, asks, uh, "Where did she say she was from again?" Uh, the it started with an A. <laughs> I didn't write it down. Did it? Did it really? Started with started an with it started with an N. A. Nareen. Oh, Nareen. Yeah, it's totally started with an N. <laughs> <laughs> will you will you tell the merchant that? Yeah, sure. All right. He says, "Good. I'll be sure to have the guards sent there and rout them." Uh, I. Uh... I'm not I mean... sure there's much need for that. They're pretty dead as that is. Well, clearly some escaped. You weren't thwarted by three people. Yeah. Yeah. Should we, should we check out this town real quick? See the, what the situation's like? It's, it's the middle of the night. I mean, you, you I mean, the Oh, well, the merchant's, the merchant's not morning. going to let you, he's not going to let you go. He's going to make you guard him all the way down to Langris. That is maybe, what you're being paid back. for. Maybe on the way back. Okay. Well, when you say that, you quickly recall that you were also hired to guard a merchant there and back. Uh oh. <laughs> maybe on the way back, back. <laughs> Maybe, maybe as we go to take that trip to Alexandria that I haven't exactly told you guys we're going to go take a trip to. <laughs> no, we know we're going to Alexandria, right? Oh, that's heartening. You guys, you guys Wait, did, already want to help me on my journey. Did he, did he tell Lily that that's where... Yeah, I think he did, didn't he? Yeah, because no? he was... Uh, uh, no, he didn't. Gar... He didn't tell Lily about Alexandria. He told Lily about something completely different. Oh, no, he didn't tell Lily about Alexandria, but um, Gar was like... Uh, threatening me, like tell the tell the small man what what he wants to know, and he was like, I already told him. And I was like, Yeah, you told me to walk all the way to Alexandria. Come on, I'm not dumb. Yeah, walk halfway across the world, the known world, and then you'll find what you want. Fortune cookie. 
<laughs> do you guys want to do anything else at this point in time? Uh, probably just lick our wounds and. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. Just so rest you, uh, up whatever we're able to. You rest up the rest of the night. You still have one more day travel, but that's where I'm going to call it for the evening. Do we get our health points back at this point? Uh, yeah, after you have a full rest, which at this point you wouldn't have had a full rest up until morning, I would say that. If nothing happens on the last day of traveling, then you can have it after that. Do they not? Yeah. Is there no like short rest where you get minor nope. health back? No. Nope. That stinks. It's all or nothing. Which makes it interesting. It does make it interesting. And I'm gonna stop the recording.